Barcodes are one of those things that represent a real barrier for people when they're learning the guitar. They learn open chords. Generally, if you sort of practice enough, uh, most people make quite good progress learning open chords. But then they reach a point where they get fed up playing everything between these sort of first three frets and they want to, you know, start playing uh, further up the neck. You know, they want to start, you know, getting used to everything that the guitar can offer. Um, and it's it's the probably the biggest hurdle that any guitarist faces is learning how to play bar chords because it just feels so difficult when you first start doing it. So what I thought I'd do is in this video, it's going to be a really short video, and I just want to share with you the three things that I've seen with my own students that make the biggest difference to uh, being able to, to, to shape bar chords that sound good and don't kind of get that, you know, horrible cut. You know, we don't want that sound. Um, so three things that I've seen make a big difference and usually one of these three uh, will massively help you. As a rule, the, all three don't tend to work for everybody, but it's usually one of the three that is a real turning point. So I hope that the, these things help you. Okay, so number one, sounds like an obvious one to some people, but it's something that some other people have never even thought of. And that's that you must push forwards with your thumb. So when you make a bar chord shape, let's just go with an A, uh, using an E shape here on the fifth fret. We're not just pulling our fingers back onto the fret. You must also push forward with your thumb. One of the main things that stops people being able to cleanly fret bar chords when they start playing is they don't have the strength in their fingers yet. And a really easy way that you can make it easy, easier for yourself is to push forwards with your thumb as well as pulling back with your fingers. And what that does is you create a kind of vice and it allows your fingers to, uh, you don't have to push as hard with your fingers basically if you're pushing forwards with your thumb. So that's a simple one, it may sound obvious to you, but in my experience, a lot of people don't actually do that. They just kind of concentrate on their fingers, push forwards with your thumb. Okay, the next one is when you make that shape there with your finger, one of the things that for most people sounds bad is this string here, the second string. And the reason for that is that when your bar goes here, the fleshy part of your finger, so sort of this bit, that tends to be the bit that goes on the strings. And because it's kind of fleshy, it's not a bony part of your finger, it won't press down on the string. So a really simple way that you can solve that issue is to just raise your first finger. Okay, so if you look at how you play bar chords now, it's probably something like that. Your finger's probably about that high. I hope this comes through on the video. If you raise your finger, to a level that will feel uncomfortable to begin with, you will find that you can fret the strings much more easily. And usually that's because your finger moves up to this bony part here, underneath your knuckle, there's a, a bony part of your finger there. And it's much easier to press down a string with a bony part of your finger than a fleshy part of your finger. So press down with that bit there, that, most people find that if they just raise their first finger higher than they might sort of feel comfortable with initially. Can you see how my fingers like from that top joint, it's over the fretboard. Yeah, nice clean. We hear all six strings really ring out. But if this finger's down here somewhere, it's okay, but it doesn't feel as secure to me. And I know from experience that if your finger's higher, you will uh, have a greater chance of, of ringing out all six strings cleanly. And the third tip that I want to share with you that I've seen work for tons of people is to turn your finger in slightly. So when you make the bar, your finger, your, your index finger, it doesn't need to be flat. We don't want it to be flat. If it's completely sort of flat down, you know, then what happens is it becomes a lot harder to actually make the chord shape. What you'll find it easier is don't put it on flat like that. It can turn back. Can you see that? So your finger can actually move back. So you're actually sort of on the side of your finger. And what that does 
is it gives you more bony parts to press down but also it opens your hand up a little which makes it easier to play the chords with these three fingers. Now what you'll notice there, and I'm just going to hold my finger there, can you see how my index finger is slightly curved? It's not flat. So it's not this where your finger's going on in a completely straight line. That's not how we play. What happens is your finger comes back a little and it can bend slightly. Okay? It's important to remember that when you're playing those E-shaped bar chords, like this, three of the strings don't need to be barred. Okay, this finger doesn't need to bar those three strings because they're already being played by your fingers. So actually, we only need to bar these two strings and this string, and a really easy way to do that is to just roll that finger back a little and you can slightly bend it. I hope that's coming through okay here in the video. Okay, so there's three really practical things that you can use. Um, that I've seen make a huge difference for people who are trying to learn bar chords. Number one, push forwards with your thumb as well as pulling back with your fingers. Number two, try raising your, the finger that's doing the bar and also turn that finger back slightly. And those three things, in my experience, one of those three helps everybody um, and usually more. So I hope you find them useful and uh, good luck with bar chords. It's really tricky, um, it's, it's a, quite a hurdle for all guitarists, we all go through it, but I guarantee the reward uh, is worth it, you know, it's worth the hours that you put in, because of course once you get comfortable with bar chords, all of the guitar neck opens up for you, um, and obviously that's massively empowering as a guitarist because, you know, you can do tons more cool stuff, so stick with it, I hope those tips help.